we have to make these diagonal bars now that go across here and when we put these shoes in and I need to make a loop at the end one end only because the other end goes into the shoe so what we're going to do is we're going to use this jig that I made up earlier and if you recall I drilled a hole in one end here and we put a pin in here and in this case the pin is a piece of piano wire and we want to end up with this loop that you see here and that's what's going to go in the one shoe and pinned in the other end will be cut off to go into the other shoe at the other end so what I what I do is I as I mentioned earlier I anneal the end of the wire rod the brass rod uh, which softens it and then I just lay it on the bar stock about a quarter of an inch past the pin and just hold it down firmly and then I just take a pair of needle nose pliers and I just wrap it around and give it a pinch and that's what we, that's what we end up with a nice loop and then I'll take a pair of cutters and I'll just nip off that last little bit right in the end there so we have a, a really nice hook and that can pull into that that pin that we drop in there. The next thing I do is I cut the overall length of this slightly longer than the diagonal dimension from pin to pin so that I have a little bit of waste on the end and what I'll be doing is putting the eye at that end into the shoe pinning it and then clipping this just past the entry to the shoe at the opposite end so I have enough room to just put it in to that shoe and secure it with a piece of a little bit of ACC. I'm not sure if you can see this that clearly it's very hard to show these close-ups but since we have to put that hook in th through here on the back side to pin it through this shoe plus this new shoe here that's going for the diagonal there's a lot of things happening so to make it easy what I've done is I've I've installed the 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 small shoe over the big shoe and then I have put a pin through here temporarily and I've just touched the top edge of this with a bit of ACC to hold that shoe in place that way I don't have to be dealing with it when I put the hook and the pin through and this other diagonal is going to come across and into that hole so this way at least one part is secure and I've done the same thing on the other side here I've done the same thing here where I've installed this shoe here and now we can start putting in the diagonals one at a time okay now I put a, an extended pin make sure the pins are long enough that you got lots of room to handle because you can always shear them off later and so I put the the pin in through that shoe going for the other diagonal and the eye of this diagonal here in between this shoe pinned it together now what next thing to do is to lift this up and then I've ACC'd this just in the underside because the, remember this is inverted so that these diagonals will be resting on the underside which will actually be the top of the shoe so I've lifted those up so they'll be resting on the underside of this next thing will be to do the diagonals going the other way once I get all of that done ACC would everything then I'll shear this off here and then finally I'll put an NBW on top of this and the other side just for that added bit of detail showing that that has been bolted together the bridge is now essentially complete uh, short of painting and what I've done is I've put in the steel bars that go across the across the top of the joist and they are slightly lower than the top of the cords and we put a piece of styrene across the top and that flushes the four surfaces all together so the ties will actually go across and the ties are 19 foot uh, sorry 13 foot 9 and they will go across from edge to edge 
the other thing which I've done a little in addition to the plans is I cut out of the brass that was left over some angles and I've glued the angles on the top of the joist and against the side of the steel just to give a little more surface area of adhesion because there's uh, just the ACC on the bottom of the bars across here and it's not really necessary because everything is going to be sitting on on abutments and then everything the track on top so really nothing goes anywhere but if for me I just like to see a little bit a little bit more uh, reinforcing it is surprising how rigid this is now that it is all assembled it's it's very very strong considering how much plastics in here the um, you can see now why um, I've used this jig here by putting building this upside down and putting it in here so that that remains dead flat it also between these two jigs in here has kept this absolutely straight and by doing that as we put in all the diagonal bracing across the sides underneath here on the bottom underneath these steel bars and all the bracing on the side here all that triangulation is what stiffened this all up and the only thing that still remains somewhat flexible are these eye bars these plastic eye bars but they don't really have any bearing on the strength of this the strength is in the columns and the diagonal bars that reinforce everything in in just about every direction and so that is now ready to have the ties on across here after I paint the the, uh, the entire bridge this is the location where I plan to now install the bridge it'll be going across from that roughed in track just above the water tank and there'll be a trestle going across there connecting to the, br the, the bridge as the bridge crosses the river and the main line it'll sit in another abutment there and then with some short trestles connect to that track there which goes up to a mine this is roughly what it's going to look like when it's installed with an abutment at each end and you can see why I wanted to use this bridge it has a long span and justifies going across the river and the main line plus it's very light and open and spindly and as such allows the view through the structure into the background scene there with the river and the valley going through uh, uh, down to the far distance through the fog so I think this will be a, quite a nice structure in here uh, tying everything together the bridge is now finished with the exception of painting and putting the deck on here with the ties and most of it is um, ready to be installed once it's painted I'll be putting in stone abutments at each end once they arrive from CC Crow and um, we'll be good to go you can see now the pin connections in all these connections the diagonal braces all the way through diagonal braces on the top, diagonal braces on the bottom